So we are on to part two of this week's two part project. Let me show you. This is the stuff that I kept. Hopefully you've watched how to make this. And this is the stuff that I kept and didn't quite work. It's it well it worked. It's just more of a lotion now than a whip. So what I did to this, in case you want to do it, um, don't do it exactly the way I did it. So what I wanted it to do was to be a little bit more pepperminty, and I put some food grade sparkles in it because I wanted it to be pink. And I know you can't see it, but it is sparkly. So when you put it on your hands as lotion, it is sparkly and it smells more pepperminty and it has a faint tinge of pink because they're pink sparkles. I put some of the silver and it had little bits of black and they did beat it and it's the exact same as this because you know you saw me in that video keep a little bit in it. But what happened was, and it's you know science and it's an experiment, when I added the peppermint oil to get it to be more pepperminty after it was all said and done because you know this had the oils added to it before it went in the fridge so it may be that if i put this in and it sets back up that it would thicken but it's much more runny so it's much more of a lotion my daughter came over she put some on i put some on after the shower it's a great lotion like in the summer when my skin is super dry after i've been out in the sun it would be fabulous so it's a great lotion but the consistency of it isn't what I was hoping. It needs to be a little bit more thick. And I think it, well, it could be the powder um, because I'm really not sure what that's made out of because you can put it in drinks. That's really why we have it because, you know, when we have fancy downline meetings and things here, um, we can make things sparkly because, you know, we're all about the sparkle. So it could be that. It could be that the oil. So for this, you can see it's still fine. It's just been sitting on the counter. It's been now been several hours because my day hasn't gone as planned. Um, but I'm going to use these. These are in the holiday catalog and these are our round tins. So you get four, yeah, four of them in a case. I've taken this one and I rinsed it out with just a, um, little bit of soapy water so it would be clean. They're food safe, so they're safe. And I think this, I, this is the only batch I've made, so I haven't put it in yet, but I think it's going to be about the right amount. Got this on here just a scrap paper to protect my work area from the oils so i'm just going to dump this in here my husband came home he smelled this and he's like it's shave lotion he was very excited he's like is it my shave lotion so i think he's going to get this batch and then i'll make some more for gifts for christmas you can see it's a great consistency it's not as it before it was more frosting-y it was cold so you can keep it like if you're gonna make it i wouldn't make it way ahead of when you're gonna give it to people you can get all the packaging ready oh look it's just the right size if i hadn't taken that other stuff out it would be a little bit too much we also have the square ones the rectangle tins so just put this in here kind of spread it around i'm trying not to touch this too much because you know this had sparkles in it but of course my husband lives in a stamper's house so there's often sparkles so we've got this, the lid is popped up, perfect. So now you have a great little tin and then they can just keep it in this. So that works fabulously well. Now we don't want it to spill in any of the time that it could be given to them. So I'm gonna use a nice wide ribbon. And then once they have it where they're gonna keep it, it's really a great little, it's got a nice seal. Like you wouldn't wanna jump it over but hopefully they wouldn't do that anyways. So you have the option, depending on who you're gonna give it to, you can put a glue dot on the bottom. And you know it's going to a guy, so you don't need a, a bow, just a knot. So you don't need a lot of this. This is, again, out of the holiday catalog. It is from the wonder of the season. I think that's what that suite's called. It comes with the gold cord. But this is just enough to hold it nice and sealed while it's wrapped. You don't want it to look feminine, so a nice knot. In fact, you could add a piece of just the, the twine around it if you want to add some rope effect. So we have this. It smells wonderful, and it's still on my hands. I don't have such dry skin. I'm going to use this. I'm going to just keep it in this thing until it's gone and keep it in my office. So we have this, which, you know, we could stop at this, but why? 
So I've got some of the plaid paper again. It matches this. I'm going to pop out one of the little tags. And then I'm gonna slide that in there. And then just to stamp it, I went with some, I've already done it because you all know how to stamp and you can go watch this on a zillion other of my other videos. This is Shimmer White. And then, you know, if you're gonna give somebody some shaving cream, you might as well use our little guy who hasn't shaved in quite some time. So I stamped him in Memento. These are the colors that I used to color him in. So I've got the shaded spruce, cherry cobbler, um, the, the dark and light petal pink, then just the dark mango and just the light, I think, light smoky slate. So those are the colors. And then you have this cutest little gnome guy. I think he's just perfect with his big old long beard to go on our shave lotion. And you wanna call it a lotion. And I would, um, if I was going to give this as a gift, and I am, cause I'm going to make them, I would pop out a third one. And then on the back of that, I would write the instructions. Um, they don't need a lot, but just so they know it's a lotion. And if you can give it to a girl, cause it can just be, you know, it's a lotion. So they're not thinking that it's gonna like be a cream and it's gonna cream up like it's gonna come out of an aerosol can because obviously it's not gonna do that. So the third tag then could be underneath and then write the instructions on the back. But for this one, just for the picture, we'll just stick it underneath there. And that is a super unique, really fun gift. If you do like retreats or anything, or if you do, if for all of you that do handmade gifts for your girlfriends or for your family where you do a little gift swap, this is perfect because you will be, you'll win the unique gift of the year. And I, he's just as cute as can be. And the little girl, if you're doing a, a set, um, you could do the girl gift with the little girl tag. And you can switch the oil smells up. You can read online. I know sandalwood is one if you don't want the rosemary. It's often put in men's scents, frankincense. You could put in there. The peppermint just kind of gives it that invigor invigoration. Um, you could substitute like tea tree or eucalyptus for the peppermint because you want something that's going to be like the tingly. And then if you were going to do girl, you could do, and you don't want the the sandalwood or the rosemary you could go with lemon or any of the citruses any of the citruses with the peppermint would be yummy so there you go we are another week and actually this time we're another two weeks closer to christmas so november's scutching right up us right up on us and we have till november 14th so i have a couple more really fun projects for you so i'm looking forward to the next the next one that we're going to get done everybody have a great night bye